What's good, Bully World? This is Zeb, your host, Bully Talk with Zeb Pitts. And today, I have I Am Bully Boy. What's good, man? What's good? What's good? All right, I got to ask you, man. How did how did you come up with the name I Am Bully Boy? Well, I Am Bully Boy started because it's my bully dog and against bullying. So the two together became I Am Bully Boy. Really? Yeah. Um, how long have you been involved with the breed, knowing that your, your dad is one of the founders of the breed? I mean, being raised with Dave Wilson, I was born with the dogs. My whole life I've been with them. But when did you pick up the love for the dog, though? Uh, since I've been born, I've always really? loved dogs. Okay. Yes. Now, talk about your boy, Bizzle. Bizzle is my blue dog. He's huge. A beast dog. Uh, you've been getting a, a lot of buzz on that boy, and you currently have a breeding um, here locally that you, that you want to talk about. Yeah, I'm breeding with a dog named Gummy, a beast female. It's going to be a great breeding taken here in Fredericksburg. Now, how did that, that breeding come about? And talk about um, the significance of the blood with the demon boy blood behind that. I think this is two-time two demon? demon breeding. Wow. So what you expect from this breeding? I'm expecting a great litter to come out. Now, with that there, that breeding should drop mid-June, I would say? Uh, yeah, right around mid-June. And what's the price range for people who are interested in that, in that litter? So any of the dogs are going to be ranging from about $3,000 to 7000 And to contact for one of the puppies, contact me on any of my social media platforms. What's the best social media platform? Would you say the Instagram with the I Am Bully Boy is your best? Uh, Instagram or Facebook Messenger. I'm always on both. Oh, okay. I, oh, I didn't realize you was on, uh, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's your page on Facebook? Uh, same thing on Instagram. I Am Bully Boy. Oh, wow. Now, talk about international travels with the American Bully. Talk about some of the, the countries you've been to and some of the most memorable moments that you had from a dog show overseas. So overseas travel is probably one of the funnest things to do in the Bully world because you hang out with all the dog people from every country and you have a great time. One of my favorite spots was probably Italy. That's, that's one of the best ones to go to. And why is that? in the just looking around through Italy everywhere you go there's just it's just beautiful there now which country did uh, do you feel had the most enthusiasm for the American bully probably I actually okay. I, that's, that's probably a wrong question to ask because you're gonna have so many people coming from different countries to a dog show so I, I, I will actually want to better that question and, and ask what's the the best dog show uh, exciting dog show that you've been to overseas and what made it so exciting for you? Probably the Italy one, because that was the first time we've ever gone, or me, I've ever gone overseas for a show. And just the hype getting ready for an Italy show, that was just amazing. Now, do you find, uh, just speaking with uh, your classmates, um, do they know about your travels with the American Bully? Uh, yeah. Not a lot of people know about the dogs, so it's kind of a hard thing to explain to them but a lot of people know about dogs. Now, what do your friends think about the American Bully? Uh, a lot of them don't really know about the breed itself, but they know that I travel for dog shows. So who's your market? My market is the Bully Rule. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now, I want to talk about the upcoming Nationals this year in Houston. What are your thoughts uh, with that taking place in, in Houston this year? I think Houston is one of the best places to go. The food and the atmosphere there is amazing. What's your favorite food? Probably Mexican food. Why is that? It just tastes the best. I mean, compared to anything else, Mexican food. Now, one of your spots down here is Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville I've been going to since I was born. Every Friday night, and it's amazing. I, I gotta ask you, man. What's, what's some of your, your hopes and dreams as you uh, enter into adulthood? Um, one of my dreams, I'd like to get professional sports, soccer, preferably, and that's my main goal right now. Let's jump into that. Talk about how many years you've been involved with the sport. I've been in the soccer for seven years now. Have you been, uh, uh, have you met any of your idols as far as the soccer world? I've never personally met any of our idols, but recently in the Spain show, we stopped by we had a layover in Germany, and we stopped by to watch my favorite team play in their home stadium. Who's your favorite team? Borussia Dortmund. Really? Yeah. Why, why is that? I, I don't really know why. I just I just fell in love with the team, and ever since then, I've just been supporting them and love that team. But was it the work ethic of the team, or, or 
Uh, one of my favorite players plays there, Marco Royce, and I don't know, I just followed him. I love the team. Now, is the plan to, uh, uh, to go to college and do soccer in college? Um, yeah, I'm looking to try to get a scholarship for a D1 school in place professional from there. Talk about how hard it is um, to really move up in the sport of soccer. It, it's really hard and it's growing here in the U.S., but another issue is due to where we live, we don't have the, the, the players. Like in Northern Virginia or anywhere in the DMV, pretty much they have stacks and pools of players. Where we live, it's not that much. So to make it to become one of the top, you have to put in the work. Where do you find um, the top athletes coming from? A lot of the top athletes will come from more south of America, but here in the states. Yeah, within the states. Uh, California is normally like a dominant state. So, would you say that's the state uh, that really dominates as far as the soccer scene? I Have you been out there to tournaments? Uh, we haven't ever gone to tournaments, but from a lot of the rankings, the California teams seem to do a lot better. Now, as far as what you want to do with the American Bully, what are your goals as far as? the structure within the American Bully world? Do you want to be a breeder or, uh, or a spokesperson for the American Bully? What what's exactly do you want to do? So for starters, I'm the next in throne. So once my parents go away, it'll be- Hold <laughs> on, <laughs> you say go away. <laughs> well, where they go? <laughs> No, it's good. Go, go ahead. Finish, 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 finish your statement. Finish your statement. So once they finish off, the business will most likely come to me, and I'd still love to t follow my father's footsteps and continue breeding dogs. Okay. To, to really continue with the razor. Like, what are the plans as far as with the razor's edge legacy? Um, the next step in the process. I'd like to keep it going with my dog, Diesel, and just see just how far we can keep that bloodline with demon and all that and just stretch on with that. Now, with the, the, the breeding to gummy, do you plan yourself personally to take anything off that litter? Uh, yeah, I'm 100% going to get a puppy out of that litter. Now, we are here at your, at, at your parents' home, big estate. Do you actually have plans to actually set up a kennel again? Uh, we'd like to build a bigger indoor complex eventually, but as of right now, both the dogs are just going to live in the house. Okay. Man, I really appreciate your time today, man. And for those, one of the things I like to talk about on Real Talk with Zeb, I, I know, and I know you're young, is uh, life struggles and how you overcome. Even though you're a teenager, teenagers have problems, have have struggles, have issues like everyone else. What's what's one of the toughest things that you had to deal with, and how did you overcome it? I don't know. I gotta think about that one. Cause I'm, cause I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure in high school, you know, it's a lot of peer pressure, and, and just, just to make it in, in high school these days with the social media, Instagrams, and like you talked about with the, uh, no bullying, stop bullying, and I see with the ABD old school with the stop bullying shirt on today. So, well, an issue in, in the modern schools is that bullying is a big issue, and I, us as I am bully boy, I'm trying to prevent that with bully face so use that hashtag everywhere and how did the whole bully face concept come about so I don't know if you know Alec Monopoly Alec Monopoly. I, he's a famous artist but he kinda has a thing where he always goes like this and I've just kinda made my own design of that and then with the eye with the anti-bullying thing just created that so with your program um, that you're implementing what's one of the ways that you can help I guess not prevent it, but at least slow the process down of bullying in schools. One of the ways you can help is just telling people, just, just being to stop or trying to help out the person. Have Have you ever been put in a situation where you had to stop a bullying situation? Uh, yes. How did that turn out? Um, so someone was bullying someone on my soccer team, and I just pretty much told them to stop and then helped out the kid, and it pretty much was resolved with that. I gotta ask, man, with, with that being said, when you did that, how did the victim feel at the time? Uh, he was pretty hurt. His, his, he told his parents, and then it was a, a scene on the soccer team, but I was able to pretty much fix the whole issue. 
How is he today? Uh, now he's pretty much just one of us on the team. Well, that's what's up, man. Like I said, I really appreciate your time on Real Talk with Zeb and letting everyone um, know about your experience dealing with the American bully and also, once again, tell them about the upcoming local breeding that you have. Yeah, so Beezlebub and Gummy breeding all done here in Fredericksburg. If you want details on any of the puppies, contact me, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram DM. All right, I really appreciate your time today on Real Talk Gazette. Thank you. All right, we out. This here is Gummy going to Bizzle.